Today on The Journey, we'll be talking about our top five conversation starters for networking events. So in many cities, there's constantly networking events going on all over. Every night. People are downing beers and trying to get to know each other. Swapping business cards. Of course, but you want to make sure that it's not going to be awkward. So we do have some opportunities for you to have these conversation starters that you can kick it off in the right yeah, way. Yeah, keep these in your pocket so when you see someone new, boom, you know what to say. So number one, this is one that I love to ask. Start with this. Hello. Sorry to interrupt, <laughs> but I've been asking everyone I meet this question and then insert question here. And one that I like to ask is, what difference in the world do you wanna make? For me, I wanna help people have more genuine relationships. So here's another one. What is the nicest thing someone has done for you at work? Well, <laughs> I do some meal prepping and I brought in three salads mm -hmm. that I took time the day before to make. Unfortunately, they got thrown out. But thankfully, the office manager not only said that they were gonna replace my containers, Aww. but they treated me to lunch three times. It's a great conversation starter. Exactly. So the next one is the guessing plus compliment conversation starter. Oregon, mm -hmm. I noticed that you were so interactive in that conversation. Are you also in sales? I am, how'd you know? <laughs> so this kind of conversation starter is great because people love compliments, but it also gives you the opportunity to learn more about that person and to see if you're a psychic. This next category of questions are things that are oldies but goodies. Mm -hmm. You can always go back to them. For example, what's advice you would give to your younger self? Ooh, I would focus more on making genuine relationships. It's always good to connect with people because you never know when you're gonna need them down the line. So another example of a question that is an oldie but a goodie and falls into this is, if you were to start a business today, what would it be? And the great thing about these questions, it gets people to open up about their interests and hobbies and lifestyle. So the next type of conversation starter is, say you're in a new city that you've never been to before, for instance, you're in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. What are some of the great things to do in Phoenix, maybe off the beaten path? I like what you're thinking. Most people are gonna go to Old Town Scottsdale, Downtown Gilbert, that's where everyone is. Mm. But you, I think you're ready to go to Arcadia. It's an older area, but it's up and coming. It's kind of had a revival. Mm. Tons of great restaurants. You can go to La Grande Larange and so on and so forth. People love cool. talking about the place that they're from. Exactly, so for instance, if Morgan ever mentions Philadelphia, cheesesteaks, the art museum, Rocky, we best friends for life. And so for our last tip, you can have the conversation starter of, hey, I believe we have a mutual friend in Neely. I love Neely. Me too. Thankfully, social media does help you take the guesswork out of this one. So you have to make sure you see that you do have that mutual connection first before saying it. Today, we talked about the top five conversation starters for networking events. Let us know in the comments below, what's your favorite conversation starter? And of course, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ding that notification bell so you can be notified when our next video drops. Until next time, this is The Journey.